Hello, and I'm excited actually that you're with me today because I wanted to share with you five distractions that will kill your work day. And I actually am speaking from experience on this one and I know I am not alone. So did you know that when you get distracted from a work task that it takes 25 minutes for your brain to refocus on that original task? I know. Crazy, isn't it? Just think how much time uh, is wasted when you get constantly interrupted. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. And there was this, actually a study done by Udemy. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but it was a survey and they found that workplace distractions have a negative impact on performance, productivity, and your potential. So I don't know about you, but when I get distracted, I get frustrated, I get irritated, I obviously lose my place, and then I go back and I'm thinking in my head, I, I don't even, where was I? I don't even remember what I was doing. So I, that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Hey, I'm Dr. Heather Williamson with the Transformation Group, and welcome back to the channel. All right, so let me put my glasses up. Um, so with distractions, the main thing really that we really have to understand is first how to fix it, but you have to figure out what distractions are really impacting your performance. And so for me, I came up with five because these are five of mine and they're probably five of yours. The first one is the cell phone. So the cell phone obviously is used many times, and I don't know if you know this little statistic, but you, the average person in the U.S. views their cell phone 52 times a day. So just think about that. You're viewing your cell phone when you are looking at your email, when you're responding to messages, when you are looking at social media, or you're getting a news alert. Um, even when you are um, uh, doing phone calls. So all these different touches, let's call it, all these touches with your cell phone add up after a while. And so when you think about that, um, and I know with the phone, when people have them in meetings, they're distracted, which we'll talk about meetings in a minute, but the cell phone can be a huge distractor. So just for instance, for me, what I sometimes do is I put my phone on airplane mode and then that way I'm not getting any messages, no phone calls, nothing. And I've learned this secret when I started doing videos, my phone was not on airplane mode and I got a phone call every single time that I was doing a video. And let me tell you how irritating that is because then I got to start all over again. And so I finally learned to put my phone in airplane mode. Or you can just put it, you know, on a, an alert and just set it down. Or you can also, so you don't get distracted, is put it in another room. If you're a woman, keep it in your purse. It's just a, something else to think about so you are not distracted at looking at it. Or in the case of this study, viewing it, all right? cut down on this 52 times a day. Now, the second distraction that you might have that will kill your work day is email. So just think about all the emails that you get on a daily basis, and some of you may be inundated with them. So when it comes to email, I know one of the things that I've had to do is I just, when, when I'm working on a project or working on budget sheets or something like that, I do not, look at my email even though I will see it pop up in the right hand lower corner of my um, laptop. I don't look at it. I just ignore it. So if you're strong-willed and you can ignore it, great. Maybe you set times for yourself that you are going to view your emails. So maybe at the top of every hour or you know at maybe nine o'clock and twelve o'clock and three o'clock you know what whatever works for you i know that uh there's a chiropractor a friend of mine he actually has a message that says that he thanks you for your email but uh they're working at the moment and they will respond you know after five o'clock 
So whatever the message is for you, just let people know that you did receive it because that's sometimes what happens is if you have always been really quick to whether it's respond to emails or phone calls and then all of a sudden they're not hearing from you for it even could be 15 minutes they're going to start thinking that you didn't receive it and so then they're going to follow up again so just send an automatic response and let them know that thank you very much i received your email and i will get back to you later today very simple all right now also just keep in mind that if it was a real emergency no one's going to contact you via email no they're probably going to contact you via your phone or maybe even a text message so just think about that it's not going to be life or death if you do not respond to that email immediately when it comes in all right so just let it go and figure out what works for you with regard to scheduling, responding, and, e and uh, answering your emails. Now, the third distraction that will kill your workday is people or your coworkers. Oh my goodness. So, people can be a huge distraction. And sometimes it's just social hour that they just want to participate in, or you know, they're, they wanna take a break, so they're coming to you to uh, get you to enjoy that break as well. Uh, it could be your coworkers, and it could be a knock on the door, but you're really busy on working on a project or you've got a huge deadline in front of you and you need to focus. Well, then you say, thank you very much. I appreciate, you know, you wanting to speak right now, but maybe give an alternative like, hey, I don't have time. I've got this pressing deadline. Uh, how about we maybe talk over lunch or we regroup in an hour or maybe we'll schedule some time tomorrow. You can also put on your calendar, if you really need to focus on a work task, then put it in your calendar that that is a meeting and then they know not to bother you. If you're working in an office, close your door, or if you really need to, put a do not disturb sign on your door. So those are some options on how to be polite and still let people know that you care about them, but at that time, you just don't have time to uh, talk to them. Now, the fourth distraction that will kill your workday is unproductive meetings. Now this one, I will tell you that I have lots of clients that complain about unproductive meetings. And this is true, especially if you attend a meeting and your meeting starts late, it ends late, and it goes off topic. And sometimes you just want to pull your hair out because I know I have. So when it comes to unproductive meetings, make sure that you start on time and you end on time. That's being respectful. Also make sure that there is an agenda and stick to the agenda. When it's an unproductive meeting, think about, is it something that you really, really need to attend or is it something that another person could go and attend for you as maybe they're the key point on that task or that project and they're the ones that should be there, really not you. Because sometimes you as the boss get copied on everything and they want you to be there because obviously you are the leader, but it's not necessarily true that you need to be there. And another option is that there are really great tools out there. So um, Slack, or you could use email. I know for my executive assistant, what we use is Trello, and it's a great project management tool because I will um, we'll work together on projects, on identifying what needs to be done. She will be working on it. She can uh, respond an email in Trello that automatically comes to me, and you can put dates, all kinds of information in it. So Trello is a great tool. But again, you have to use it. So if the unproductive meeting is something that you want to eliminate, then these are just some ways that you can do it. Now, the fifth distraction that will kill a workday is if you micromanage. So if you micromanage, I'm telling you, you're killing the vibe of your whole team. They hate it with a passion and it's a time sucker for you. Why do you want to spend your time micromanaging? 
when your time should be focused on more important tasks, such as strategy. So anyway, time, time, micromanaging is a time sucker. Your people hate it. And also, it's time for you to start letting go. So just do it little by little. It'll come easier. Uh, don't keep focusing on those daily tasks that your people do. You hired them for a reason. Now let them do their job. So when it comes to micromanaging, you've got to figure out how to let go. And these are just some ways in which you can start. Just start, start little and then you will start feeling more confident in your people. All right. So just to recap, the five distractions that will kill your work day are the first is your cell phone. The second is email. The third is your people and or coworkers if they are distractions. And then the fourth is unproductive meetings. And then the fifth and final distraction that will kill your workday is micromanaging. So hopefully that these kind of are lightning for you. I know micromanaging, I think I used to really do that early on when I started managing people. But then I got more confident in my team's abilities and I kind of stopped doing that because it was, like I said, it's a time sucker. So hopefully these are of value, some great information for you to help you identify what your distractions are. And with that, please like the button below. Hey, don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos like this. And also now go out and be that boss that your people really love and want to work for. All right. Bye guys.